The Chicago Bears acquired quarterback Nick Foles this offseason to compete with Mitch Trubisky for the starting job. Who wins that job and how that person plays will go a long way in determining whether the Bears will make it back to the playoffs in 2020. That's you making me right! That's you making me right! The Bears' toughest four-game stretch this season comes right in the middle of the season prior to their Week 11 bye. Chicago starts the stretch in Los Angeles against the Rams, who held the Bears to just seven points in LA last season. They then host Drew Brees and the Saints before traveling to face the Titans. Chicago's final game before the bye is against their NFC North rival Vikings, who the Bears swept a season ago. Matt Nagy and the Bears have right around a 40% chance to win each of these games, but if they can get the quarterback position figured out, Chicago has playoff upside. The Minnesota Vikings' toughest four-game stretch of the 2020 season comes in the final four weeks. Minnesota has three of those four games on the road, starting with a trip to Tampa to face off with Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. My model currently estimates this game's outcome to be about the same as a coin flip. Next, the Vikings return home to face the Bears in a battle of NFC North teams. How the Bears' quarterback position shakes out will have a major role in my projection for this game in Week 15. Minnesota then travels to New Orleans for a rematch of their wildcard matchup from last season. Look for Drew Brees and the Saints to have this one circled on their calendar. The Vikings finish at home against the Lions in a game I have Minnesota projected to win. The race for the NFC North title is one of the closest in my model, meaning the Vikings' stretch run could absolutely decide the division crown. The Detroit Lions won't waste any time before facing their toughest stretch in 2020, as it comes in the first four weeks of the season. Matthew Stafford returns from injury and will be tested right away against Khalil Mack and the Chicago Bears defense. The Lions then travel for consecutive road games, first against another NFC North rival in the Green Bay Packers, before heading to Arizona to face Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, and the Arizona Cardinals. The stretch ends back in Motown with a matchup with Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, and the Saints. Detroit has around a 40% chance of winning each of those three games according to my current projections. The Lions need Matthew Stafford back at the level he was playing prior to his injury in order to start the season off on a positive note. Plus, rookie running back DeAndre Swift will need to learn the offense quickly to make an immediate impact in this tough opening month. Aaron Rodgers and the Packers faced their toughest four-game win stretch of the 2020 season directly after their Week 5 bye. The early bye leaves Green Bay with games in 12 consecutive weeks to end the season, and it starts with a trip to Tampa Bay in a matchup against Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, and the Buccaneers. This will only be the third time Rodgers and Brady square off, and my current projections have the Bucs slightly favored at home. Ball game! The Packers then travel to Houston to face Deshaun Watson and the Texans before returning home for a division tilt with the Vikings. To finish the stretch, Green Bay will return to Northern California for a rematch of the 2019 NFC Championship game with the San Francisco 49ers. The Packers will look to avenge not one, but two losses against the 49ers from last season. My current projections only have the Packers favored in their matchup with the Texans during this stretch. I expect Aaron Rodgers to be on a mission in 2020, and if the Packers can navigate this stretch well, I expect them to once again make the playoffs. The Atlanta Falcons will finish the 2020 season with their toughest four-game stretch. Overall, the second half of their schedule is more difficult, starting after their Week 10 bye with two games in three weeks against the Saints before starting the stretch in Week 14. The stretch starts with a trip to Los Angeles to face the Chargers in a great matchup with Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, and the Falcons offense. Yeah, we're going today, fellas. Going against a stacked defense with Joey Bosa, Derwin James, and newly acquired Chris Harris Jr. Atlanta has two of their final three games against Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. My model gives the Falcons a 45% chance of winning at home in Week 15 and a 42% chance in Tampa to close the season. Who does Atlanta face in between their two matchups with Brady? Just reigning Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Falcons need to start the season strong in order to have a shot at the playoffs with their challenging stretch run. The Carolina Panthers are rebuilding under new head coach Matt Rule and new quarterback Teddy Bridgewater. Their toughest four-game stretch of the season comes towards the middle in weeks 7 through 10. The stretch starts in New Orleans against Bridgewater's old team, the Saints. Carolina then hosts another NFC South rival in the Falcons before heading to Kansas City for a matchup with the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs. 
my model gives the Panthers only a one in three chance of pulling off that upset. The stretch ends back at home as they round out their trio of division opponents with a game against Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, and the Buccaneers. The New Orleans Saints' toughest four-game stretch in 2020 comes near the end of the season in weeks 13 through 16. The stretch starts with two road games, at Atlanta and in Philadelphia. The Saints are favored in 54% of my current simulations against the Falcons and just fewer than half of the simulations against the Eagles. New Orleans returns home to the Superdome in Week 15 to welcome Patrick Mahomes for his first career showdown with Drew Brees in what could be a shootout during the fantasy playoffs. Their toughest stretch ends with a revenge game against Minnesota after the Vikings eliminated the Saints in the 2019 wildcard playoffs. Our time! Period. Minnesota will look to pull off another upset. New Orleans is my current favorite to win the division, but a stumble during this late season stretch could prove costly. Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski have Buccaneer fans excited for the 2020 season. But in order for their lofty expectations to become a reality, Tampa must manage their four-game stretch during weeks 11 through 15. This difficult portion of the schedule starts with a visit from Sean McVay and the Rams in a game I project the Buccaneers to win in over 55% of simulations. Next comes the fourth career matchup between Brady and Patrick Mahomes. I have the Chiefs favored in that game, partly due to the fact that it will be the Buccaneers' 12th straight game prior to their late Week 13 bye. Hang in there! Hang in there! After their week off, Tampa hosts Kirk Cousins and the Vikings in a game my model has as a virtual coin flip. Their most difficult stretch comes to an end in Atlanta against Matt Ryan and the Falcons. I currently have the Buccaneers as wildcard team, but they absolutely have a chance to press the Saints for the division crown, especially if they are successful during this difficult stretch of games. The Dallas Cowboys lost four of their final six games to miss the playoffs in 2019. The second half of their schedule in 2020 is significantly tougher than their first eight games, so the Cowboys must once again avoid a mid-season letdown. Their toughest stretch comes in weeks 9 through 13, broken up with a week 10 bye. Dallas has less than a 42% chance to win each of their first two games of that stretch, with the Steelers coming to town before traveling to Minnesota. Holy cow! What a fantastic grab by Amari Cooper! They host Washington on Thanksgiving in a game they are decisive favorites before heading to Baltimore for a showdown with reigning MVP Lamar Jackson on Thursday Night Football. The Cowboys also take on the defending NFC champion 49ers in Week 15 before hosting the Eagles in Week 16. I currently have Dallas projected to win the NFC East, but they need to get off to a strong start in 2020. The New York Giants went 4-12 last season and have lost 10-plus games in five of the last six seasons. Enter new coach Joe Judge. The Giants play five of their six NFC East games in Weeks 5-10 through 10 before their Week 11 bye. Their toughest four-game stretch of the season comes in weeks 13 through 16, where they start out in Seattle before hosting the Cardinals and Browns and then a showdown with Lamar Jackson and the Ravens in Baltimore. New York has less than a 40% chance to win three of those four games and are a slight underdog against the Cardinals. For the Giants to have a successful 2020 season, Daniel Jones needs to make strides. The addition of Andrew Thomas with the fourth overall pick should help Jones in this area by giving him more time to throw. This would allow New York to do what they do best, and that's get the ball in the hands of Saquon Barkley. Where the Cowboys have an easier first half of the schedule, the Philadelphia Eagles schedule is front-loaded. Their toughest four-game stretch comes in weeks four through seven before a matchup with Dallas in week eight prior to their bye. The Eagles' toughest stretch starts with a trip to the defending NFC champion 49ers, followed by an interstate showdown in Pittsburgh with the Steelers. In Week 6, Philadelphia has the second of consecutive AFC North opponents when John Harbaugh and the Ravens visit his old stomping ground. The Eagles are not favored in any of those three games, with Pittsburgh their most likely chance at just 43.1%. Then Philly hosts the Giants and Cowboys before heading into their bye. The Eagles also have a stretch in weeks 12 through 14 where they play the Seahawks, Packers, and Saints. If they can successfully navigate those two areas of their schedule, Doug Peterson and crew have a good chance to return to the playoffs in 2020. The Washington Redskins are coming off a 3-13 season and are hoping new head coach Ron Rivera and second-year quarterback Dwayne Haskins will breathe new life into the organization. 
Selecting Chase Young second overall solidifies a defensive line already featuring Ryan Kerrigan, Jonathan Allen, and Montez Sweat as a strength of the team. Washington has an extremely difficult four-game stretch late in the season, from weeks 12 through 15, where they travel to Dallas on Thanksgiving before two more road games against the Steelers and 49ers before finishing at home against the Seahawks. According to my current projections, the Redskins have less than a 40% chance to win each of those games. The good news? Having their most difficult stretch late in the season allows Rivera, Haskins, and the team to build continuity before tackling the most difficult part of their schedule. The Arizona Cardinals enter the second year of the Kyler Murray era with great optimism after the acquisition of DeAndre Hopkins. Murray and Cliff Kingsbury took the Cardinals offense from last in scoring to tied for 16th in their first season together. Hey, nice shot. We're getting it back. Let's go win it, all right? Arizona has the offensive weapons with Hopkins, Larry Fitzgerald, Christian Kirk, and Kenyon Drake, where they should improve upon that ranking again in 2020. The team does not face its toughest four-game stretch until the final four weeks of the season, starting with a trip to take on the New York Giants. Arizona then returns home for two games against playoff teams from a season ago, against the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. My model gives the Cardinals around a 45% chance to win each of those games. Arizona finishes with another divisional opponent in the Los Angeles Rams. I project the NFC West to be the most difficult and competitive division during the 2020 season and project the Cardinals to be in the thick of the wildcard race. Winning a few games down the stretch could propel them into the playoffs for the first time since 2015. The Los Angeles Rams went 9-7 but missed the playoffs in 2019. In order to get back to the postseason, the Rams must navigate their most difficult four-game stretch of 2020, which includes matchups with all three NFC West opponents in weeks 10 through 13. The stretch starts with a visit from Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks in a game I have projected as a virtual coin flip. The Rams then have a rematch of their Super Bowl 53 loss with Tom Brady, this time with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Los Angeles then returns home for what I have as their toughest game during the stretch, a matchup with the defending NFC champion San Francisco 49ers. Yes! The toughest area of the Rams schedule comes to a close with a game in Arizona against Kyler Murray and the Cardinals. I currently have the Rams projected for 8.1 wins, pitting them in a three-way battle for second place in the division. Los Angeles must pick up a couple wins during this stretch if they want to get back to the playoffs and make another Super Bowl run. Ah, ah, come on. The Seattle Seahawks had their eighth straight winning season in 2019 and will have to navigate a tough stretch of games in weeks five through nine for their ninth. The stretch starts in week five before their bye with a game against Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. After their week off, Seattle travels to Arizona for a matchup with DeAndre Hopkins and the Arizona Cardinals. The Seahawks return home for another division battle, this time with the San Francisco 49ers, in what I have projected as their second coin flip matchup in three games. The stretch finishes with another 2019 playoff opponent, this time as Seattle travels across the country to face the Buffalo Bills. Russell Wilson is one of the top quarterbacks in the league, and he will have to carry his team in 2020 if Seattle wants to make the playoffs again. Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf are solid receivers, and the Seahawks added veteran tight end Greg Olson. But Seattle lacks any true game breakers on offense. The NFC West has four quality teams this season, so the Seahawks have to get through this stretch intact if they're going to make another deep playoff run. The defending NFC champion San Francisco 49ers have one of the most difficult schedules of any team in 2020, which includes their toughest stretch in weeks 8 through 12. Their most challenging run really starts in week 6, with a home game against the Rams before traveling to New England to face the Patriots. Then it kicks up a notch in week 8, with a trip to Seattle to face Russell Wilson and the Seahawks in a game my model projects to be almost dead even. The 49ers then return home to the Bay for a rematch of the 2019 NFC Championship game with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, who San Francisco beat twice last season. The 49ers then travel to New Orleans for a rematch of one of 2019's best games against Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, and the Saints. My model gives the 49ers around a 45% chance of getting that win again this season. San Francisco then has their bye before facing their NFC West rival Rams in Week 12. The stretch actually continues with a visit from the Buffalo Bills in the following week. 
I have the NFC West as the most difficult division in football, but I predict the 49ers will once again take the crown in 2020. The Baltimore Ravens are coming off a 14-2 season in which Lamar Jackson was named NFL MVP. There's been a lot of doubt going on, you know, me being a running back, uh, receiver, stuff like that. Baltimore lost in the divisional playoffs, and they will have to navigate a tough stretch toward the end of the season if they want to return to the postseason and get their first playoff win under Lamar Jackson. The stretch starts in Week 11 against the same Tennessee Titan team that eliminated them from the 2019 playoffs. The Ravens then travel to rival Pittsburgh on Thanksgiving to face the Steelers with Ben Roethlisberger returning from injury. Heinz Field, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh and Baltimore, you don't have to say a whole lot more. They play again the following Thursday, this time taking on the Dallas Cowboys on Thursday Night Football. Their difficult stretch ends with a trip to Cleveland to take on another division rival in the Cleveland Browns. If the Ravens can get through this stretch intact, they should be headed back to the playoffs as Baltimore closes the season with games against the Jaguars, Giants, and Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals are looking to build around number one overall pick Joe Burrow. Their new signal caller threw 60 touchdowns while leading LSU to the national championship last season, and Cincinnati will be looking for his skill set to translate into the NFL. The Bengals are laying the foundation for the future. Everything we've worked on all off season, we have the opportunity to put it on tape today. Their toughest four game stretch during the 2020 season comes in weeks five through eight, starting with the trip to Baltimore. Cincinnati has less than a 30% chance to win that game, in part because they were unable to contain Lamar Jackson last season. Jackson ran for over 200 yards and two touchdowns in their matchups a season ago. Then the Bengals travel to Indianapolis for a matchup with Phillip Rivers and the Colts before returning home for games against the Browns and Titans. The Bengals have less than a 40% chance in three games during this stretch, but Joe Burrow does have good skill position players. If he can put it together in Zach Taylor's offense, the Bengals could improve quickly. Ben Roethlisberger returns to the Steelers lineup in 2020 after missing 14 games last season due to an elbow injury. Pittsburgh needs their leader on offense back in peak form as the offense struggled without him. The Steelers fell from fourth in total offense in 2018 with Big Ben all the way to 30th a season ago. Ben will be tested early in the season as Pittsburgh's toughest four game stretch comes in weeks four through seven. Be great today. Be great. It starts with a trip to Nashville to face the Titans in a battle of physical teams. The Steelers are not favored in that spot on the road, but then they come home for two games where they do have an edge against their in-state rival Eagles and division rival Browns. The difficult stretch ends with another road game, this time traveling to face another AFC North rival in Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. It helps that the Steelers have their bye in week eight after the Ravens game. Ah! This will give them a chance to get healthy, and if they make it through this stretch in good shape, they'll be in contention for a return to the playoffs in 2020, as they are currently my first choice for an AFC wildcard. New head coach Kevin Stefanski is looking to turn the Browns around after a disappointing 6-10 season and lead Cleveland back to the playoffs for the first time since 2002. The Browns open the season by traveling to Baltimore to face reigning MVP Lamar Jackson, but their toughest four-game stretch in 2020 doesn't come until weeks 11 through 14 when they host the Eagles before two straight row games in Jacksonville and Tennessee. The Browns are not favored to win either against the Eagles or against the Titans. Their difficult stretch ends with their second matchup of the season with the Ravens. The Browns must improve quickly as Baker Mayfield is already in year three, meaning the advantage of having a quarterback on a rookie contract is nearing its end. The Houston Texans' toughest four-game stretch of the 2020 season comes right out of the gates, starting with a season kickoff game on Thursday night against the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead. My model gives Houston a 36.5% chance of winning that game. It does not get any easier for the Texans from there, as they return home to host reigning MVP Lamar Jackson and the 14-2 Ravens. After opening against the last two MVPs, the Texans travel to Pittsburgh to face the Steelers and a healthy Ben Roethlisberger. Houston's toughest stretch is capped off by hosting the Minnesota Vikings. Starting the season with their toughest stretch puts Houston at a disadvantage considering they will be revamping their offense this season after trading DeAndre Hopkins to Arizona. I project the Texans with less than a 40% chance to win any of these games.
If Houston can get through this incredibly difficult start where they face three playoff teams from a season ago and a future Hall of Fame quarterback intact, they will have a chance to win the AFC South for the third straight season. The Colts' toughest four-game stretch for the upcoming 2020 season starts in Week 9 with a visit from reigning MVP Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. My model projects Phillip Rivers and the Colts with only a 40% chance to win that game at home. Indianapolis then starts a three-game stretch against teams that made conference championship games in 2019. Week 10 is a trip to Tennessee to take on the Titans in the first of two matchups in three weeks. The Colts then return home to take on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. I project Indy with around a 45% chance to win that game, the highest of any game during this stretch. The Titans then come to town for a showdown in Week 12. Heading into the season, I have the Colts projected to win the AFC South with 8.8 .8 wins, but the Titans are right on their heels. This stretch of games with two matchups in three weeks will go a long way in determining who wins the division. The Jacksonville Jaguars enter the 2020 season looking to build around Gardner Minshew at quarterback. Jacksonville has their toughest stretch of the season in weeks 12 through 15, starting off with a home game against Baker Mayfield, Odell Beckham Jr., and the Cleveland Browns. The Browns disappointed in 2019, but are looking to get back on track under new head coach Kevin Stefanski. The Jaguars then face two teams that won playoff games a season ago, traveling to Minnesota to square off against Kirk Cousins and the Vikings before returning home for a game against Derrick Henry and the Titans. The Jaguars' most difficult stretch ends against a familiar face as Jacksonville travels to Baltimore for a matchup with Calais Campbell and the Ravens. My model does not have the Jaguars favored in any of these games and gives them only around a 30% chance of defeating the Ravens. The Tennessee Titans are looking to build off their impressive playoff run to the AFC Championship game last season by re-signing Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry. Their continuity on offense will benefit the Titans as their toughest four-game stretch during the 2020 season takes place early in weeks three through six. It starts with a trip to Minnesota to face the Vikings, a game in which the Titans have around a 45% chance of winning, according to my projections. Tennessee then returns home to face a Steelers team reinvigorated with a healthy Ben Roethlisberger before two more home games against 2019 playoff teams in the Buffalo Bills and Houston Texans before heading into their bye. My current projections have the AFC South as one of the closer divisional races in 2020, with the Titans and Colts the two most likely champions. If the Titans can successfully navigate this early season stretch, the Titans should be right there at the end of the season. The Buffalo Bills are looking to unseat the New England Patriots in the AFC East in 2020. To do so, they must navigate their most difficult stretch of the season in weeks 10 through 14. The stretch starts with a trip to Arizona against a much improved Cardinals team, with Kyler Murray in year two and his new receiver, DeAndre Hopkins. Everybody and their mama picked us to lose. We ain't gonna forget about that. Buffalo then has their bye before hosting the Chargers and traveling back to the West Coast for a contest against the 49ers. The stretch wraps back in Western New York with a game against the Steelers. The only one of these games where the Bills are favored to win is at home against the Chargers, as they currently have a 53.6% chance of winning. However, that could change if Justin Herbert gets in and has a strong rookie campaign. Look for Buffalo to rely on their run game while taking downfield shots in the passing game to newly acquired Stephon Diggs and John Brown. If Josh Allen can improve his accuracy in 2020, look for Buffalo to be the team to beat in the AFC East. My current projections have the Bills victorious in the division. The Dolphins selected Tua Tungavailoa fifth overall in the 2020 NFL Draft, and his availability this season will impact the team's record. The team's most difficult four-game stretch comes in weeks four through seven, and it's not known whether Tungavailoa will be able or head coach Brian Flores' choice at quarterback during this part of the season. Sling that I mean, that's what we need, somebody to just sling it. Miami starts the season with two division games against the Patriots and Bills before a showdown with in-state rival Jacksonville. That's when it gets really tough. Miami then has two straight contests against strong NFC West opponents. First, hosting the Seahawks before traveling to the 49ers. The Dolphins are currently projected with a win percentage of less than 35 in each of those games. Miami then has another road game out west where they face the Broncos before returning home for a game with the Chargers. I have them projected right around a 40% chance to win each of those games. The Dolphins will be improved in 2020 
especially with defensive additions of Byron Jones and Kyle Van Noy. But it's this health and success of Tonga Bailoa that will eventually determine Miami's future. Tom Brady has left for Tampa. What does that mean for the Patriots in 2020? New England was not done any favors by the schedule makers. New England's toughest four-game stretch is early in 2020, coming in weeks four through eight. Presumed starter Jarrett Stidham starts the season against former Patriots coach Brian Flores in the Dolphins before making a trip to one of the loudest stadiums in the league for his first road start in Seattle. New England then faces the Raiders before a huge Week 4 showdown in Kansas City against Patrick Mahomes and the defending Super Bowl champion Chiefs. Next is a home game against the Broncos before a bye and another home game against the NFC champion 49ers. The brutal stretch finishes with New England traveling to Buffalo for a matchup with a much improved Bills team. I do not have the Patriots favored in any game during that four-game stretch. I cannot recall any such stretch as far back as I can remember in my models. Bill Belichick must get Stidham in rhythm early this season as four of the Patriots' first seven games are against 2019 playoff teams. Most fans don't realize that the Jets went 7-6 and six with Sam Darnold at quarterback last season. In order for Adam Gase to build off of that and get the Jets back to the playoffs for the first time since 2010, they must navigate the four-game stretch from weeks five to eight. We're gonna come out here and have a blast, bro. The first half of the Jets' schedule is very difficult as they start with two 2019 playoff teams, at Buffalo and hosting the 49ers. Then it gets even tougher with games against the Cardinals and in Los Angeles against the Chargers before hosting the Bills. In week eight, the Jets travel to Kansas City to take on Patrick Mahomes and the defending Super Bowl champion Chiefs. The Jets are underdogs in all four of these games and have around a 35% chance of winning in Kansas City. For the Jets to make the playoffs, Sam Darnold must be given more time in the pocket. This would open up much more space for Le'Veon Bell to operate and allow for more big plays. New York is hoping that the selection of Mekhi Becton can get this done and allow Darnold to blossom into a franchise quarterback in 2020. The Denver Broncos prioritized building around Drew Locke this offseason, giving him explosive playmakers all over the offense. Denver first signed Melvin Gordon in free agency to pair with Philip Lindsay. John Elway then drafted both Jerry Judy and KJ Hamler as speed threats in the passing game to complement Cortland Sutton. Elway better hope the offense gels quickly, as their toughest four-game stretch comes right out of the gate in weeks one through four. Denver opens at home against Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans before traveling to Pittsburgh to face the Steelers with Ben Roethlisberger. My model gives the Broncos right around a 40% chance to win each of those games. The Broncos then host Tom Brady in what has been a house of horrors for the GOAT, just four and seven in his career visiting Mile High. The stretch ends with a trip to New York to face Sam Darnold and the Jets. The 2019 season ended with the Kansas City Chiefs hoisting the Vince Lombardi Trophy in Miami. In order for Patrick Mahomes and crew to do it again in Tampa, they must navigate their most difficult four-game stretch in weeks three through six. It starts with the matchup of the last two most valuable players, when Kansas City travels to Baltimore for a matchup with Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. This is the only game during the stretch that I don't have the Chiefs favored. The Chiefs return home for games against Bill Belichick and the Patriots, followed by John Gruden and the Raiders. The stretch ends with a trip to Western New York and a game against the Buffalo Bills. My current 2020 win projections have the Chiefs earning 11.1 wins, the most of any team in the NFL. Kansas City will have a shot to be the first back-to-back -back Super Bowl champs since the Patriots in 2003 and 2004. The Los Angeles Chargers let Phillip Rivers walk this offseason and selected Justin Herbert sixth overall in the 2020 NFL Draft. It remains to be seen whether Herbert or Tyrod Taylor will be the Chargers' starting quarterback to begin the season. It's not an easy start for Los Angeles, as they face their toughest four-game stretch of the season in weeks two through five, starting with a visit from the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs. I have the Chargers with less than a 40% chance of winning that game. Los Angeles faces Teddy Bridgewater and the Panthers before traveling across the country for two showdowns with future Hall of Fame quarterbacks. First, the Chargers will take on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before heading to the Superdome to face Drew Brees and the Saints. I have Los Angeles with around a 40% chance to win each of those games. Their schedule lightens up for the next few weeks following the Saints game, but the Chargers need to avoid getting in an early season hole if they want to make a return trip to the playoffs in 2020. 
The Raiders have officially moved to Las Vegas, and after a week one game in Carolina, their toughest four game stretch of the season starts in conjunction with the opening of Allegiant Stadium. Las Vegas opens their new building against Sean Payton, Drew Brees, and the Saints. My model gives the Raiders around a 37% chance of winning their first game in Vegas, the lowest of any projection during this difficult stretch. The Raiders then travel across the country for a game against the Patriots in Foxborough before returning home for another game against a 2019 playoff team in the Buffalo Bills. Their stretch ends with a trip to Kansas City to face Patrick Mahomes and the defending Super Bowl champion Chiefs. If the Raiders have playoff hopes in their first season in Las Vegas, they must get off to a good start by successfully navigating this early season stretch.